on Mesa Meagles and welcome back to Betsy V Lifestyle. As the title may or may not say, I'm not sure because I haven't named this video yet. But these are, this is, not are, is a video on some Amazon purchases, makeup Amazon purchases that I've made within the past few weeks. And I wanted to share it with you because we are an Amazon family. Besides being a Penguin family, like we love Amazon. If you watch the Daily Vlog channel, like you guys know, it's like a new package from Amazon every week. So I decided to buy makeup from Amazon and I just wanted to share with you my review. Starting off with, so this is the Pure Bliss setting spray. Everything is organic, so they say. Like organic white tea leaf, sodium PCA, organic white tea extracts of espalophosis i don't know but it was a little bit expensive as opposed to the face primer that i got it was 11.95 and even on their website pure bliss it was 11.95 or 11 dollars. so it was i didn't pay more at amazon for it which is great um, setting sprays are important because it just sets everything in place i don't know if i said it i forgot because the baby was crying but yeah it sets everything in place I can go all day with this makeup look. I get home at night and my face is still put on. The canvas, the painting is still good. <laughs> Keep it. One of the YouTubers that I'm subscribed to is Carly Babel. Carly Babel did a video on color correcting. It's this whole thing with using green, purple, and red concealers. And then you put it all over your face and then you mix it all in, whatever. So. I definitely wanted to buy this one, the LA Pro Concealer. Uh, this is the one she used for drugstore. It was $5 on Amazon. It's also $5 in store. I know they have it at Walgreens, I believe, or Dwayne Reed. Uh, I think just Walgreens. But yeah, um, I liked it. But for some reason, it's not blending well once I put the concealer on top of it. Like, this sticks. Like, once it's there, it just sticks for me. I don't know what to do. I've tried playing around with it, and I liked it when I've seen it. I'm like, okay, it's red. But it's not like a bright red. It's like a nice red, so it like cancels out my black eyes, because I have black under eyes. Um, but I don't know whether to say to keep it or trash it. I'm going to say keep it, because I'm still going to work with it. But if you guys know how to blend it in so it doesn't stick there, let me know. Ben Nye Translucent Powder Focus. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure you guys are all aware of who Ben Nye is. He's like huge. Um, a lot of people use, usually use the banana powder, which I like as well. But I saw that I wasn't using it. Well, it wasn't looking right on my skin tone. It would just look like really like yellowish or white. So I'm like, you know what? Let me try this one because I have pink undertones. I'm not tan. I don't like. I don't know. It just this was what I wanted to get. Tried it out and it's just amazing. It gives you like a beautiful um, finished look, a rosy, glowy J Lo look, I guess you could say. I do use it to bake a little bit underneath my eyes here. I love it. Definitely feeling it. It was 19 bucks on Amazon. I don't know how much they sell it on their website for. I was trying to look for it, but I couldn't find it. Um, it is 1.5 ounces. It's small, but there's so much product in here, so. I don't know, it was a good buy. I love it. I'm gonna say this. You guys may or may not know, I love lipsticks. I wouldn't say I'm really obsessed with lipsticks, but um, I love them. I love them. Love my lipsticks. Lippies from CoverGirl to NYX to Neutrogena, Gerard. So, right now, what I have on my lips is the. Where is it? Neutrogena, Fresh Orchard, and in the middle I have the Gerard Butler, <laughs> Gerard Cosmetics, <laughs> Buttercream right in the middle, a lot. I decided to also get lippies in my Amazon purchase, and I don't know why, because I'm like, why am I getting lippies, but, no, no, wait, I, I know where I got it, because on Amazon, they have you, you have to buy a certain amount of Amazon m products, in order to get it. So they weren't going to send me this unless I had what, like $25 worth of 
Amazon store bought purchases or something like that. I don't know. So I'm like, okay, let me look for lipstick. I'm searching, 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 and I ran across this beautiful color. And it's from the company called Lime Crime. I know, don't yell at me, don't hate me. There's a lot of people that are against Lime Crime. There's whole bunch of controversy with them. I didn't know before I purchased it. I knew afterwards when I told my cousin, she saw the video of me trying it on, and she's like, oh my gosh, just to let you know. Anyways, the controversy is like they're not FDA approved, or it's not organic enough, they say they're vegan, they're not vegan, and they're not charitable enough, I don't know. So a whole bunch of crap, I'm like, who cares? Like, what the, oh, my cousin said her friend got warts, but, I don't know if that's true. Like, it could be from anything, you know? Whatever. So I saw this color. Look at the casing. It's so pretty. Isn't it so pretty? I didn't buy it because of that, but I just love the color. It is in my beautiful rocket. Nice orangey, red, fire orange color. It's just perfect for spring and summer. It's always like the it color. Definitely makes your tan glow. So I decided to get this one, which I love, and then I'm like, oh, well, I saw this other color and I loved it. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at the packaging on this. And it's so pretty flowers. And this one is in the color Gemma. Gemma, Gemma, whatever. So, so, so pretty. I'm gonna try it on for you. I like the lipsticks. I really do. It doesn't go on smooth. It goes on, it goes on smooth, but there's like um, a consistency that makes it kind of tough on your lips, and I guess that's what makes it stay. It has a nice, long-lasting stay. Don't mind my eczema, which is like dry skin around my lips. Let's just not have to deal with it. So here you go. I'm gonna use the tip and just outline a little bit. Oh crap! I like broke right now. But isn't this so pretty? This is the lipstick that I wore during my video, the Boohoo Try On Haul video. If you want to watch that, make sure you watch it. But it's just a gorgeous color right now. It doesn't look that great on me because I look super pale. It's like winter time, even though it's in the spring, but it's raining out. But anyways, nice long lasting effect. Um, it goes on smoothly. Now let me try on the Gemma. Gemma, Gemma. I don't know. Definitely a beautiful color. I call it like a gothic color. It's so dark. It's definitely not for spring or summer, but I saw it and I'm like, oh my God, I love it. I saw I had to get it. I don't know why. It was 18 bucks. 18 bucks. I'm an idiot because on Lime Crime, oh, this is another issue, a controversy with Lime Crime. They were hacked into, so a lot of people were stealing people's credit cards and information. So um, yeah, but it, on, on their website, it's $8. So I paid ten dollars extra, but whatever. You live and you learn. You know, you live and you learn. I think what I learned is before buying something on Amazon, seeing what it is on their website, and if it's the same, then well, buy it on Amazon. <laughs> All right. So the next few purchases are not from Amazon, but I'm like it's makeup related. So let me just put it all in this video. Um, I was running out of my eyebrow pencil stuff because <laughs> although I want to try like the and it's, Asia Beverly Hills eyebrow stuff. I want to jump on that bandwagon. I really don't want to pay pay for it. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird because I'm like I'm gonna end up paying for this stuff all the time, anyways. But I decided to go with this brand, um, Maybelline Brow Define Fill Duo. So it has the pencil on one side, so you start lining it and stuff like that, and then the other side. Ooh, it has the, what is it called, the filling powder. So you fill it in, choop, choop, choop. Love, love, love it. My eyebrows really look really good. I still use, I wish it came with a spoolie brush. They had another one that came with like the pencil and the spoolie brush, I think it was. But um, I'm like, I wanna get the fill, fill it because it just, it would fill more in. Um, I loved it. I also, and with all, what makes it so sharp and fleek is I've been using concealer and outlining my bras after they're done like cleaning it up on the bottom and on the sides a little bit so it makes it just that much neater and I never used to do that because I'm like oh I don't need that crap 
No, you need it. It's definitely recommended. I recommend for you to use concealer and a nice um, brush to just line it. Also keep them in place. I bought Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara. This is what it looks like. It's clear. You put it on your eyebrows so it stays because I have that issue with it not staying in place. Like I have like strands down here and I'm like, boy toy, why didn't you tell me all day that my eyebrows were like oh. this? He's like, oh, I didn't notice. I always make a stupid face when he talk like, I didn't notice. I'm part of the influencer team that sometimes they send you makeup. They sent me over um, <laughs> Maybelline. Maybelline's Brow Drama Pomade Crayon Sculpting Brows Filling Thing. So this is what it looks like. It's a thick crayon. Um, I tried it. I absolutely hate it. It's like the stupidest thing ever and I do like Maybelline. I really do like Maybelline. But when companies like Maybelline, L'Oreal, Covergirl, they come out with like the crayon, the jumbo pencils like what am I be coloring my eyebrows like this or something like they're too thick you can't there's no defining it so this is definitely trash throw it out but definitely keep these two that, 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 that. That's all folks. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys like this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up I love my thumbs up let me know in the comments below what you'd like, what you think you're gonna try. Are you gonna take some of my recommendations? I love to hear that stuff. Um, what other videos you'd like to see? Let me also know in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel for weekly randomness, mommy stuff, makeup stuff, pep talks, whatever it is you want to hear me talk about, let me know. And definitely check out my daily vlog channel. That's Betsy V, where I share my daily life. And that's it. Take care of them with that little. And until next time, mis amigos, adios. Silver shoes. I love them. They're adjustable straps. And they're slightly sold. And she did nothing crazy now. Now for me, I love nude shoes and since I didn't have the perfect